Hi developers, this is Jimmy from Elston Games. Today we're gonna make a button so we can switch on the light and I'm gonna use the third person template. So first we click on third person and then create project. The first thing you want to do is to create a button. So right click here, click blueprint class, actor, and name it to light button. Double click on it, add component cube. I'm going to change perspective to left and then I'm going to drag it up to the green line. I'm going to go back to the first perspective and uh, I'm going to add a collision box and you can find it down here somewhere. If you can't find it just type collision and there you have a collision box and I'm going to make it bigger. So. compile and drag it out on the stage. Now I'm gonna make a light so right click place actor I'm going to use a point light and I'm gonna put it on the box then I'm gonna change the intensity to zero because I want to be off when the level starts. Now right click on your button go down to add event and on on actor begin overlap and now we want to create a variable when the actor is overlapping our button we want to create a variable that detects that so go ahead and click on the plus button here and this is boolean by default so we're gonna make a name here and I'm gonna type is overlapping button drag this out and click on set and I'm gonna connect this to then I'm gonna click this one this means it's true. Then I can compile and I'm gonna click on my light then I'm gonna click on blueprints, open level blueprint and I'm gonna create a reference to my point light. Then I'm gonna right click and type keyboard and then E because I'm going to use E and then I'm going to select my variable I'm gonna get that value and now I'm going to create a branch. Branch is if statement. So if this is true, I want something to happen. I want the light to switch on. So connect these two. And from point light, drag this out and type set intensity. And click on it. Then you can connect these two and we can set a new intensity here. I'm going for 20,000. Then compile. Now we play the game and we walk to this box and press E to light switch on. But it's one problem here. If the player is going to this box and walk away and then press E, the light still switch on. But we're going to fix that right now. So go back to your level blueprint and we're going to make some space here and we're going to check the intensity of the light so from here type get intensity so this is the current intensity of the light drag this out and make this character that means if it's above something it's true so if the intensity is above zero it's true so then we can create a new branch and connect this one here so if it's not above zero the light is off and we need to turn it on so if it's false we're gonna make it 2000 then we can copy this one if it's true it can be zero and we need to connect this one to target. So we need to make one more step. We're gonna click on our button again, go to add event and on actor end overlap. Then we can drag this up to our other event and we can copy this one and untick this box and connect them. Then compile and play. Now when you play 
and you go to this box and walk away and press E, nothing happens. But if you walk there, you can turn on the light and also turn it off. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like it, click on the like button. If you want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.